Okay, now we are going to start with the bronzer. I'm only going to do about, this one's called Light Bronze. I'm really only going to put two drops of that. You don't need much. Two drops. These things will last forever. Same thing that I did before. I am actually, since I didn't mix this with anything, I'm not going to turn it to 12 o'clock. I'm not going to bubble it. All right. Now I'm going to start highlighting with this with the bronzer up in here in the natural places that you would put bronzer. Under my cheek, nose, and also you don't want to put too much because it'll look really cakey. I'm going to put some on my neck, like for pictures and stuff. If you put bronzer on your neck. It'll take away the shadow if you have a double chin or whatever. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that to my face. And again, I'm gonna go here. You can do contouring for your cheeks and stuff if that's something you like to do. All right, again, I'm gonna spray until it's gone, which won't be long because there's not much in there. And you can hear it when it's out. Next, Ooh. I'm going to use my blush. And the blush I chose to use is Pink Blossom because I like a pinky, pinky looking cheek. This makeup feels so light. It really feels light and airy. Doesn't feel like you have a lot of makeup on, which is what I like. All right, you're gonna add. I'm gonna add about three drops of this in here. And actually, since I want to give my cheeks a little bit of, like, dewy look, I'm going to add one drop of the Moist and Dewy. And I don't, you don't want to overdo this or it'll look like you've been sweating. So just put one drop of that in there. Again, you're going to bubble it. You put the paper towel on the end, pull the lever, and you'll see it bubbling. And this is an important step. Spray it a minute so you see your color coming. Okay. Now for cheeks, it's the same thing. You need to keep it going, so. Look for changes. Don't look for, like, don't set it in one spot. If you happen to get too much in one spot, you can take a paper towel and blot it quickly before it dries. You can see already, like, it's giving me a very glowy look. Okay. I love it. I love, 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 love it. All right. Now, I'm going to highlight just a little here. Not much, because I don't need a lot. Especially, I mean, it, can you really tell a difference? Can you see the difference, like how shiny it makes your teeth? It looks really pretty. I like a really subtle looking makeup, not real strong, so... They sell, like, this is the sheet that comes with it telling you, like, showing you all the colors. They ha sell tons of different shades of foundation, tons of blush and lip. Actually, they sell eyeshadows, eyeliners, concealers, adjusters. Like, for concealer, I just go over it another couple times with my foundation, and that works. And they sell different shimmers that you can get. And also, they sell paramedical, like, for tattoos and, like, heavy, heavy coverage that you need. Fantasy which I have a couple of the fantasy colors, like for stencils, they sell different stencils for body art, and Cameron loves that, so. All right, I'm gonna put two drops of this into my cup here, little cuppy thingy. Again, I'm going to, I'm not mixing it, so I'm just gonna spray until I see something. Okay, I'm gonna do a little highlighting here. Around my eye. And there, right below my eyebrow for a highlight. Hmm, you can go over and dry it with this, but it, it literally dries so quickly. And I'm going to show you the finish look after I finish my makeup. It'll make, it'll look even better. But I just really want to recommend this you know, the Dynair makeup. It is really awesome, easy to use. It's really just makes your face feel so good. I'm 
like it's awesome. Next I'm going to show you in another little segment how to clean it which is easy as well. Thank you for watching. All right now I'm going to show you how to clean it. It's just as simple as you know putting your makeup in. You put some of the Dynair cleaner You'll put about, I don't know, let's say about eight or nine squirts of this, just to make sure you get it good and clean. Again, like to clean it, you're going to put, turn your dial all the way full blast for this. And you need to, again, close this and bubble it a little to get the cup really, I, mean, I can't remember what they call this, but this system comes with a DVD and it's bubbling. Okay. Next thing they truly recommend is that you put this in here, put a paper towel over this, hold it when you're spraying this solution out so it doesn't spray into the air, but then you're just going to spray the solution out. You're spraying all the old foundation. It's cleaning it, and you're going to spray it until it's gone and clear. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, you'll need some Q-tips for this last step. I always take a Q-tip and clean the end. Real good, because if that makeup dries on there, then you're going to have to clean it to get it to work properly. Alright, and then I'm going to put a little cleaner on that to clean out this, the cup that you put the makeup in. Clean it out really good until it is shiny silver. Breeze getting me on here. Yeah, I don't really like being on video without any makeup on starting out, but that's life. No one looks that glamorous without makeup. I mean, some people look better than others, but but you just really clean it, really get in there, pull the lever back, make sure you get it as clean as you possibly can. And here, how much more time do I have? Three? Three minutes. Okay. This is what they recommend, actually, when you watch the DVD, is to put a few drops of this in here, just to keep it moist in case there's some extra makeup in there. Put this little cap that comes with it on the cup part. Put this on the end. This is for the end of the stylus. And they recommend taking the rubber band that comes with it. If I can get it on you. And doing this. This is just to make sure that it stays moist, clean, and that it doesn't dry out because if it does, then you're going to have to watch the troubleshooting part of the DVD that comes with it. And when you store your stylus, they give a little storage pouch for it. I mean, this thing is really simple to use, easy to carry around with you. And if you're looking into airbrush makeup for any reason, um, I highly recommend you trying out looking into Dynair. Thank you for watching my video, and I'll put the links down below. Please subscribe, and thanks for being my awesome subscribers.